This is the Nathaniel B. Palmer. She is one of the two Antarctic research vessels operated by the United States National Science Foundation. The Southern Ocean and the Antarctic is one of the absolute harshest places a research vessel can operate. So these vessels are very, very capable, very well built. I work as a marine electronics technician on these vessels, and I want to tell you a little about what we do. In order to reach much of the Antarctic, the NDP has to be able to cut through ice. As an icebreaker, she's able to push through up to three feet of ice while maintaining forward speed. If she backs up and rams through it, she can push through a little more. This opens up huge areas of the Antarctic that would otherwise be inaccessible to the researchers. She is 308 feet long and carries enough supplies and fuel to run for 75 days unprovisioned. The ship is full of workshop spaces and lab spaces that allow her to support a wide range of scientific research, everything from biology to oceanography to geology. The ship is also set up to carry cargo and a range of scientific instruments to support several of the research stations around the Antarctic as well. Every year, researchers come down from a wide range of institutions to study uh, the Antarctic. Uh, in December of 2020, we were joined by the Hellenic Lab from uh, Auburn University, as well as researchers from Central Michigan University, University of Alaska Anchorage, and University of Alabama. The primary focus of this cruise was understanding uh, circumpolar distribution patterns of benthic invertebrates, so all the little critters that live down in the mud on the bottom. One of the primary sampling tools was a small trawl net that would allow us to bring a few samples of these animals back to the surface for later DNA analysis. In addition to the trawls, the ships use a series of deployed underwater cameras that we affectionately call the yo-yo cam because of the fact that uh, to take pictures it bounces up and down with its weight touching the bottom and triggering uh, the actual camera system. In addition to the still cameras, the yo-yo camera system will be recording video and that serves as a great outreach tool to really show people what life is like at these depths several hundred meters below the Antarctic. The big advantage though of these camera systems, whether the deployed camera systems or more modern stuff like an ROV, it allows you to actually see the organisms in their natural environment. You can see interactions between different organisms. And you can even see creatures that you might not have seen otherwise because they're too sensitive to survive coming to the surface in the trawl. Of course, the biological side of it is only one small piece. As a ship, we're also regularly collecting water samples and water column profiles to better understand uh, general oceanographic data. There are regular cruises to do seismic work, understand the geology of the Antarctic. The real beauty of this ship is that she does a huge range of work. It's not pigeonholed into just biology or just seismic. She really does everything. Of course, time at sea is expensive and logistically complicated, so to collect data while the ships aren't able to operate, the scientists will also regularly deploy these moorings that will be collecting data year round during those times of year that the ship is not able to operate. These moorings will collect everything from basic oceanographic data like temperature, dissolved carbon dioxide, pH, to more complicated things like samples of sediment falling down the water. The National Science Foundation funds a huge, huge range of science happening down in the Antarctic every year that is vital to understanding the changing climate, changing biology of this really unique environment. If you want to learn a little more about it, uh, check out the Icy Inverts YouTube page for some info from the scientists on this past cruise, or subscribe to my channel to see some more of my adventures down the Antarctic and other places around the world.